Welcome back to part two of Treasures of Tanjavur. I'm in conversation with dancer and author Kalaimamani Lakshmi Vishwanathan. Earlier in the show, Lakshmi talked about uh, the Tanjo Quartet. In our first part, actually, today we're looking at some other composers. We looked at a piece by uh, Vaidhi Swaran Kovil Subrahma Iyer and we talked about the Tevarams and the Thirumurais. Now we look at Gopal Krishna Bharati's Nandanar Charitram, which is almost like an operatic piece. Yes, you see, Gopal Krishna Bharati uh, is one of the composers who is almost contemporary to the trinity of Tyagaraja and Dikshitar and Shama Sastri. And he was a, a person who uh, conducted musical discourses. He was invited to various uh, rich homes mm. and asked to give discourses. And Nandana Charitram is his uh, magnum opus, one might say. And the songs are so beautiful because, you see, he used his imagination to create a story around Nandana's life. And it is so evocative that I have choreographed several songs from this uh, operatic uh, compositions. And I thought uh, part of the Tanjavur legacy uh, is Gopal Krishna Bharati's uh, songs on Nandana. And I'm very happy to present these because they are uh, so popular already as music and to visualize them in dance uh, gives uh, not only the dancer a scope for bhakti and uh, evocative abhinaya, it also kindles that spirit in the audience. They identify a lot with a, a true bhakta like Nandanar. Now the story goes that uh, Gopala Krishna Bharati saw a statue of this saint outside the Chidambaram temple and he was so moved that he composed this piece. Will you tell us the story? Well, Nandanar has a very little of a story in the Periya Puranam. But the main uh, uh, focus of the story is that he was an untouchable. He belonged to a small village. He was a maker of drums, so he had to kill animals to tan the leather and use it for drums. So he was a person who was not allowed into the temples in those days. And But he became a, a big bhakta of Shiva that every time he used to say Nalai Povum. So he came to be known as Tirunalai Povar. <laughs> every day was an anticipation of visiting Shiva in Chidambaram. And ultimately he is supposed to have realized his dream. But in the meantime, he had many obstacles to surmount. And there were miracles such as in Tirupungur, where he had a darshan of Lord Shiva, when the Nandi moved mm. according to the command of Shiva himself. Now, these are legends which are so popular in the Tamil country. And uh, it's so wonderful to dance these pieces. And Gopal Krishna Bharati's songs describe the moods, the varying moods of Nandanar how he is ecstatic one moment and full of agony another moment. I think that's where the, the myth also comes from, right? If you want to seek the blessings of Lord Shiva, you can convey the message through Nandi. Yes, yeah? yes. <laughs> After a short break, Lakshmi and I will show you snippets from uh, the film Raj Raja Cholan starring uh, none other than Nadigar Tilagam, Sivaji Ganeshan. That's after a short break. Stay tuned.